You are Miss Berg? Yes, I am. Mr. Benavitas? Yes. You play pool? Yes, we do. Good. And you had a league? Yes, we do. Mr. Ralston, what did you have to do with the plaintiff's pool league? Owned it. You owned it? The league, yes. Yeah. Okay. So explain to me how that works. They sign up, pay a sanction fee. Okay. They sign up. Now, why would they sign up with you? Because I was a league operator. What do they get from that? The um, trophies and a banquet and... They get trophies? Yep. And they play against other leagues? Other teams in the other league. Other teams yes. in the league. And at the end of the year, they get a banquet? Yes. And what are the dues? $20 a year, and then it's a dollar to play and a dollar if you lose. A dollar? To play. And a dollar if you lose a game. Well, these rules, I, I, I've got baseball down pat. That's about the only thing we sport. Okay. So they pay you $20 a person, a dollar a game, and a dollar if you lose the match. Yes, ma'am. And you play other teams. teams in the league. How many teams do you have? Six. This is what your claim is, that you play the other teams in the league. Yes. And you won. And there was supposed to be prize money provided by Mr. Ralston. Yes. And your team came in first place, and you want the prize money, which was supposed to be how much? 600, 400, and 200 for the top three teams. Now, have you played in this league in prior years? No. It began as... Don't go back to the beginning. Oh. Have you played in other leagues? Yes, I do. And when you play in other leagues, you play... And at the end of the period of time, whatever that season is, whoever is in first place got a prize? Yes. Second place got a prize? Yes. But Mr. Ralston was not in charge of those leagues that you played with? No. So now I would like you to tell me what you believe, because you, your team came in first. Yes. Mr. Ralston was not forthcoming with the prize money. Correct. That's what you're suing for, the $600 yes. that you won. He doesn't deny that you came in first place. He says prize money was never something that, at least in his league, was advertised. He said, according to him, you get a trophy and a banquet <laughs> that he pays for out of the league money. Yes, ma'am. Did they get a trophy? No, ma'am. But they came in first. They did come in first. Did they get a banquet? They did not. Why not? Uh, by the time that I had everything set, she had foot surgery, and she didn't want to do it at the time. So we held off on it. And by the time that we were ready to do banquet is when they threatened to sue and assaulted me. What about their trophies? I, I haven't got to that point. <laughs> They're suing me right now for the money, and then they assaulted me. So I... Forget the assault. I'm going to hear that in a second, because okay. that's your counterclaim. Did you tell him that you were not ready to have a banquet? No. Well, how does, would he know about your foot surgery? I saw him at Anna's daughter's quinceanera, and I said, hey, when are we going to have this banquet? And he says, well, you're an integral part of this league, and I kind of want to wait till after you have your foot surgery at the beginning of May, and so everybody could go. When did you win the tournament, by the way, and what month? We finished at the end of March in 2015. 2015? Excuse me, 2016. Sorry. Okay, so now we're in May. So why didn't you do the banquet well before? I hadn't had time with work. Um, so I, and I waited for the summer because I was going to do a big bonfire and have big trophies and all of that. So I wanted to wait for summer, and then she had her first surgery. Okay, now I want you to show me where there was supposed to be a prize. Um, thank you. So far, Mr. Rolston, you're really not looking good. You understand that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Mr. Rolston, I have a sense that you were having some difficulty. Either that or you're just a hustler. 